We really like the word realize, realize. So you're following the conversation that we have about your vibration is out ahead of you, out ahead of the manifestation. And there is a vibrational reality that if you can strike the right vibrational relationship with it, then it will flow from vibration into reality. So in our analogy, we just want you to understand that there's a vibrational version that will then occur to you. It will be realized. So everything that you are seeing is a translation of vibration. What you see is vibrational interpretation. What you smell and hear and taste and touch, it's all vibrational interpretation. So when you get by virtue of chilling, by virtue of meditating by virtue of taking a walk breathing deeply making lists of things that you feel good about or meditated and you're good at that been teaching it so when you have quieted your mind enough that you've stopped resistance and you allow your vibration to raise what happens is because there's no resistance then that broader perspective that source perspective flows into your experience but source knowing it hmm source knowing it that's what we meant when we were teasing you about how brilliant we are but unless you are personally realizing it then there's no advantage to us being brilliant unless we can pose it to you in a way that you can realize it you see so the higher your frequency which means the more you meditate which means the less resistance which means the less negative emotion then the more you and we love the word realize realize the more you allow the more you translate into something meaningful to you you use the word I see it the more you translate into physical experience that broader non-physical perspective and the best of all worlds is when you've just tuned in tapped in turned on you've just done it and doing it and done it, doing it and done it and doing it you practice it you feel good you just go from one wonderful thing to another wonderful things and you've convinced yourself that life is supposed to be good for you and then you allow yourself to be a constant or at least a steady realizer of how source feels about this world and when that happens when you're there you look at a friend and you love that friend so much you feel like you're just going to turn inside out because you feel about that friend the way source feels about that friend you get a glimpse of someone in trouble and you don't worry about them at all because you're seeing them in the way that source is seeing them you look at your planet as a whole or in general and you just feel well-being about it because you're seeing it the way source sees it you're realizing sources awareness of it you see you're right you got to practice yourself into it but it's not difficult to realize it if you're in the frequency so the difficulty is in getting to the frequency and the reason it feels like a difficulty to get to the frequency is because people are going about it in the wrong way you're looking at results of manifestations you're looking at manifestational results rather than the energy that brought them about Esther was thinking about things in the we're bringing back this silly analogy but she kept active in her vibration what she did not want and then expects law of attraction to bring her something different that's just silly and isn't it a wonderful thing that law of attraction didn't defy the laws of the universe and make her the one exception instead <laughs> it gave her what she was offering vibrationally so that once again she could make a decision do I like more of this well no not really is this what I want no this isn't what I want what do I want I want something I have not practiced I want something that I have not practiced vibrationally what does that mean gonna ask to be the exception and get it you're not you might ask but you won't get it your mother trained you to believe that you could throw a tantrum and get what you want but the minuscule puny little paltry stuff that flowed through that Avenue was nothing in comparison with the well-being that comes to you when you line up with this energy that creates worlds so we agree with you it isn't the easiest thing to do but when you understand it as you now do and you know that law of attraction is giving you evidence about how you're feeling and what you've got going on vibrationally then you can control the outcome of your experience and you can control the way you feel it is a glorious experience when you realize that not only do you not have to have knee-jerk reactions to things 
but that you can get out ahead of everything vibrationally and then attract only the things that you want to come to you it's a wonderful thing to realize that you have the option of how you feel about everything and the more you care about feeling good the more you practice those options and the more law of attraction delivers things to you in a way that you feel good when they come do you accept that source Jerry Abraham whoever it is you want to call that non-physical all that isness sees through your eyes do you believe that you are a vessel through which non-physical energy flows and sees yes and do you think that you have to be a cooperative component in order for source to see through your eyes it's a trick question be careful no that's exactly right so you don't have to be up to speed for source to see through your eyes but you do have to be up to speed for you to realize that source is seeing through your eyes yes you have to be up to speed before you get that bang for your buck yes and that's what those thrill bumps are that's what that feeling of love that washes over you is that's you up to speed you in on what source is feeling you see source never demands that you get up to speed source just is and you either are or you aren't it's your decision to make you see so when you realize that you can do some things we teach meditation like a lot of teachers because we know that it's easier to teach you to have no thought than to have pure positive thought because you've been practicing yourself into resistance on a lot of things there's just a lot of things that you've practiced resistance let about go of the cork yeah so what meditation does when you quiet your mind you stop thought when you stop thought you stop resistance when you stop resistance your vibration raises and then ideas begin to flow into your experience and so often you begin receiving thoughts during meditation because yes. you're up to speed with the thinker of those thoughts nice to know isn't it yes so this is all simpler you wouldn't know it from all the words that we offer and all the waving around and ranting that we do but it really is simple you came here as source energy to explore and to have fun and most everybody that you know who's in human form is not having that much fun you have a little fun and then you have a lot of serious business you have a little fun and then you have a lot of responsibility you have a little fun and then you have a lot of telling it like it is you have a little fun and then you have a lot of straighten it out you have a little fun and then you have a lot of making the world a better place you have a little fun and then you have a lot of setting the example for your children so they can grow up and be good citizens you have a little there are just so many things that you've picked up along your physical trail and your guidance system has been telling you every step along the way every time you yelled at your kids you felt bad every single time not one time did you feel like you were in the vortex when that was going on not one time ever you see and yet you did it because you got to straighten them out because you got to stop them from doing what they're doing and we say once you get a handle on this seeing the world through the eyes of source then you begin to discover you love people into alignment you positively expect people into success you love people into their well-being you love it because you see it but friends you don't need to be the one that does it source is already doing it source is already doing it. do you believe that source is flowing that energy toward everyone yes so if source is flowing that toward everyone does anybody need you it's another trick question they don't um, need you because they have personal access but what might you do to help them to apply their personal access more demonstrate it up close love them up close yeah. even when they don't deserve it love them even when it's hard even when you have to practice it practice it practice it so you lay in bed and you practice it and you practice it and you practice it and you practice it and then you go look at them you go oh <laughs> see you later and then you go back and you practice it and you practice it and you practice it and you practice it and then you come out and you look at them you go ah and then you go back and you go to bed and you practice it and you practice it and you practice it and you practice it and you come out and you go oh Bye. and then you go back and you practice it you practice it and you practice and you practice until finally finally you see them through the eyes of source and they stand there with all of their flaws swinging your chandeliers from place to place rubbing oil all over your furniture and you love them anyway you don't let them clean your house but you love them anyway 
this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment. Thank you. Best conversation we've had so far about deliberate creation and best conversation we've had so far. And by conversation, we mean it because we're getting the feedback from you as we move along. Best conversation we've had so far about what allowing is best conversation we've had so far about what the vortex really is best conversation we've had so far about what contrast provides for you and best conversation we've had so far about how you stand eternally in a place of evolution and since that is true it's time for you to stop taking negative score about where you stand because where you stand is perfect and friends there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have you just have to identify it so how often do you say I'd like to have that I would like to have that but and what are the valid by your perspective reasons for the alternate thought that you are inserting but but I don't have time as you argue for your limitations or as you point out in further defensiveness that it isn't done yet that's the thing you're doing that's practicing the vibration that's slowing the momentum you say so we know that words don't teach strange that we offer so many <laughs> and <laughs> and we know that you can only hear what you're vibrationally up to speed with but it is our knowing that a whole lot of you are vibrationally up to speed with this conversation that we're having right now there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have we just want your heart to sing in the identification of it because when you are joyously identifying something that you desire that means that you are vibrationally in the vicinity of it and that means the fulfillment of it in terms of seeing it and hearing it and smelling it and tasting it and touching it is going to be way fun for you when we say to you you're not ever going to get it done does it make you feel tired <laughs> Or does it make you feel eager? Jerry and Esther had a friend years ago who would say to people who were complaining about being tired, don't worry, honey, you can rest in heaven. <laughs> and Esther would think, I really don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't get the sense that that's what's going on in that non-physical realm. I think there's a whole lot of eagerness going when you strike the right vibrational pose with yourself you are then the receiver the allower of that non-physical eagerness that you have already rallied because of what you've got going on in your vortex you say we are eager feel the depth of that word to visit with you about anything that matters to you prepare yourself for conversation that's going to take you into a new place and get ready to be the owner of your desire and then the happy observer of wonderful things just lining up you see when you get this and you are and when you practice it and you will and then manifestations come on the hills of your deliberate turning of your phrases and thinking of your thoughts then you'll feel that hands in the clay thing and then you will begin to feel invincible you will feel the same invincibility that you felt when you made the decision to come into this physical body to begin with you'll see this time space reality as the platform to inspire you to the specifics of your individual and important desires but there will be no doubt within you about your worthiness or about your ability or about your capability or about the harmonious cooperation of the universe who is behind you and working with you 24 7 that means all the time